previously on Balls. We have to put finger over the camera. There we go. Ooh la yeah. la! <laughs> yeah, all our shocks. There's a, a new member of the Springbok squad. There's an old member of the Springbok squad. A little old member of the Springbok squad. Hey guys! For you Hello. and uh, there's a couple more lurking around. Yes, Hello, yes. busy. <laughs> now, when, now when, when he walked in, your son and him almost uh, hugged. I had to explain to Simon, he's now a shark, my friend. Oh. Yeah, but we'll always have that Cape Town connection, Darren. <laughs> Some romance right. in a good way. So, we're going to be having a chat to these guys in just a moment and uh, finding out how training went, uh, how things have been going with them. Of course, good period now for the uh, for the sharks as they're in the top. Six well and truly in uh, Super Rugby. It's coming up. Let's check out your headlines with Johnny first. Live from Mr. Price Kings Park, you're listening to balls.co.za. So let's get back to our sharks, Nicole. Are oh, their shirts way. off yet? No, the shirts are still on. Anyone want to take your shirt off for Nicole just so that she can be busy? Marcel. Marcel. Marcel? Do you know who I am? Wie jongste, wie is die jongste in die span wat hier is? Ek wist nie Odwa en JP nie. Marcel, is Nicole Flint, ons vanmorgen met my juffer uit Zuid-Afrika. Sy sit daar in die atelier en sy vraag asseblief, sy nie die hemsel afvat. I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet you've got bigger pecs. Tit for tit for tat. So he's not going to do it, Nicole. You might have to ask him nicely. Oh, please, please, will you take your shirt off for me? <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking this. Well, let's not think you're blonde, Nicole. I'm not blonde. That's a, that was another Miss South Africa busy. Right, Far from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you can't get to see us, unfortunately. What's up, Luke? Yeah, very good, man. Yeah, thank you that you guys have it, man. It's nice to meet you. Well, yeah, we talk about Afrikaans. You guys were actually here so far. In any case, we didn't get out of it because you guys were in the whole stadium. Yeah, man. That was the best players when we were us. Yeah, man. You know why? Because the other players have been through this before. That's why they don't come back. So how are you enjoying it here at the show? How are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's very nice, man. I think this game is now very good. The friendship, the camaraderie, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And now we're in the, in the, in the, the great squad of the Springbok. How do you feel that? No, we have still a blessing for you. No, yes, it was amazing to sit with so much talent. You know, it's very and all that was in Eddie's book. It was enough to say from that. It's a great year, absolutely. See what you said last year, Gary Karibeke. Last year, after the Curry Cup, Marcel said if he doesn't get chosen this year, he's moving overseas and he's going to join Brad Barrett playing for England. What? Hey, fraud book. Is that the truth, Bismarck? The thing is, Marcel is quite a passionate guy. Uh, as we've all seen him on the field, I think he's having a great season. Uh, and he said he's definitely the best number six and seven and eight uh, in South Africa at the moment. <laughs> Depends on where they need him. <laughs> and he's only 19 or 20 years old. Oh, as Matt called him, the tripod. Yeah. He's the tripod on his own there. Yeah. By the way, how are your uh, economic ex uh, economy? What, what were you writing? <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote my on honors. Yeah. Uh, but like Afrikaans people. I'll say my honors uh, <laughs> in, in econom uh, economics last week. And who did you get out of it? Because you weren't too happy after you wrote that exam. No, the thing is, I had to sit there with the dictionary and look at the, uh, the words, and then I had this description, then I can fill it in. So they tried to catch us out, but uh, uh, it all went well. The first two are, are passed, uh, and there's only one more subject to go. All right, cool. And it also, we must apologize. You also had to sit there with your cell phone. Batting off John Walland, who kept SMSing you during no, the that's, exam. That's, that's John. We we gotta we gotta forgive him for that, and uh, at least he, he he didn't give up. All right, uh, we'll get back to you in just a moment, JP. There we are. Let's get a shout out to your mates, the mates from province on that side. How's it going? Fine, and you there? Yeah, very good. Nice to catch up with you. What do we call you now? Wing or centre? Um, I'm just happy to play. Huh? <laughs> Do they have to use when you start becoming a player? Yeah, no, it's not. I'm also covering a four and five. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, in the future, when there's no more speed, I can always move back. <laughs> right. 
And uh, and Oddy, how's it going with you, bud? It's going well, eh? Going. That's good. Nice to catch up with you again. Yeah. And uh, just tell me, was there any chirping going after the game last week with Beast showing off with uh, with, with young Bresler? Well, you know, we know the Beast is, is quite a strong boy. Uh, he proud himself in the gym too. So, and, in and what way? <laughs> He's the strongest man. So. Nicole's very interested right now. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, you know it's, it's always nice for the locks, I guess, to have a, a guy like Beast lifting you in the in the in the kickoffs in the lineups. You know, you're always safe there. Yeah, and uh, have have you been enjoying uh, the the role as centre? Obviously, you sort of backing your your position again. But did you enjoy it? Yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed it. It was quite an experience for me, and uh, I, I learned a lot, and I still have to learn a lot. Just as in the past, though. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why they skipped him most of the time. <laughs> of course, I played with Timmy, that's why I hardly saw the ball. <laughs> no, but it was a great experience. I enjoyed playing with Timmy, and I learned actually a lot from Tim. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I will, I'm quite looking to the future and see where I can go with Center. Trying to get some more ball from you there. Uh, he's there with uh, with his uh, former Cape Tonian friend. Yeah, he, he literally, buddies. he latched onto you when he walked in there. He's like, he's feeling so at home now that there's someone that originally from Cape Town. You can know. Go, go. No, I mean, I, I don't hardly even know, so I met him once. Oh, I don't say twice. that. No, but you know what happens is like when uh, Jean-Dre Crea, we have Pretoria, he meets Jean-Dre, he almost kisses the guy <laughs> when he sees him. He's so happy because he's, what, he's a poor wrist boy. Yeah, he's a poor wrist boy. We went to school together, you know, and it's just nice to see familiar faces when you're far away from home. Hey, Tim. Anyway, well, I mean, I think... I'll still say, I'll, I'll still say, I'll, 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 I'll even... I'm a, I'm Please be honest. Eastern Cape boy. I'm a Eastern Cape boy. John Wallen knows you went to Grey High. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that the real Grey or the... I mean, I'm just busy about that. School. No, not the, not the college one, the Grey High, Tim. That's the one you went to, but... No, yeah, no, he, he went to he went to our girls' school, Gray Gray High. <laughs> oh, that's busy. You're all our, uh, you know, busy. Uh, expats, uh, ex, and all our rejects, the guys who don't get into Gray College, uh, Gray High. And, and then they call themselves Gray. They never say Gray High from P. They always say Gray. Yeah. You hear yeah, Tim uh, Tim claim he was in Gray and and busy gray, gray College or whatever. He he loves just saying Gray. And busy. Who won the game against Grey High and Grey College recently in Stellenbosch? Uh, in Stellenbosch. Uh, where was it? No, somewhere, no. somewhere around that area. Let's go with Johnny. <laughs> yeah, who won the recent game between Grey High and uh, Grey College? Grey High and Grey College haven't played this year. Okay. Uh, like, uh, why were you asking that, John? <laughs> I was just asking. I was just wondering. Uh, somebody told somebody told me that they beat them this year. But anyway, maybe it came through the <laughs> old school. <laughs> I'm going uh, to the Grey High boys. Grey High, <laughs> Grey High recently played against Paul Ruiz in Stellenbosch, and Grey High won that one. Oh, uh, so thank you. All right, cool. Why is Simon wearing a blue shirt? Because it's a ball shirt, woman. Ball shirt, Nicole. But why? You but you know, there's black ones as well. Just saying. All the corporate colors are black and white, right? Yeah, I'm just so, saying. But every now and again, we might have to wear blue when we have to go to Pretoria. Mm. Just to be safe. <laughs> exactly. <There> we go. <laughs> well, it's lucky to catch up with you guys. And obviously, you're right back into the fray, uh, Oddie, with the uh, with Super Rugby. Yeah. Um, now in the top six and uh, yeah. big game against the Lions this weekend. Yeah, no, definitely. I think we've done very well uh, in the past couple of games. We've put ourselves in a good position. So, you know, we actually targeted uh, the five weeks. Well, the five games that we had and uh, this this Lions game coming up is the fifth one so hopefully we can we can do well there absolutely as yeah. so, so the JP it's always like these sides that always struggle in Super Rugby when they see the Sharks coming though that's when that's the week they decide to lift their game now it's always difficult to play local derbies and especially going up to Coca-Cola Park and get a win there it's going to be quite difficult but we know as a team we we can't just pitch up there on on Saturday and just expect a win we have to do all our basics well, start well, and do everything well. And it's the most important thing for us as a, as a team. And mm -hmm. most of the guys know how, how hard it is to win in Super Rugby. So we're looking quite quite excited for Saturday. Fantastic. And of course, uh, we're chatting to Plum about it as well, Marcel. That uh, that four week break, you might be very busy during that time uh, if you uh, if you get into the definitely. get into the box side. <laughs> <Marcel's Yeah. definitely. laughs> But I mean, a four-week break in a competition where you got to sort of come back again and then have to play against the Bulls in the, you know, what would be your last game. It might be a key game as well for the competition. Yeah, I know. It's very disruptive sometimes, yeah. But um, as like, you're not thinking ahead now. We're only focusing on the weekend now, you know. We're still here at the Sharks and we have a 
goal that we want to achieve. So, you know, if it comes, it'll be wonderful, you know, but I'm just focusing on the weekend. It's the bigger picture, I think. Right. So, you, say, you say it's disruptive, though. So are you basically criticizing the format? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's just, um, you know, when you have a break sometimes, you know, you can get, you know, you chill luck and everything, you know, so you tend to forget about the game. And when you come back, you have to pick up those balls no, again and get used to it. Again, never so. been to. Right, now I want to ask you guys, just for we'll fun, you'll chat to Keegan in a short while. And uh, John, just uh, what was that thing you said about Francois Berta the other day? Francois Berta, the... Um, the white buffalo? Darren, I, I, I said a couple of things about was him. It Palu- <laughs> did you call him a palooka? A palooka? Did you, was it palooka? Was that the word you used? Yes, it was. Was it? Yeah. Why? Well, it's why did, did, was there a comeback on it? Well, no. He's standing here watching you right now. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello. It's by Yammer Franz. Yammer Franz. I get it. <laughs> Listen. By the way, you'd know out of all of these guys. Um, yep. I know you're a star in TV commercials. <laughs> uh, but are there any talents? We've got a thing called Z Factor. We found like Joe Peterson, and he's very, very good on the guitar. So, um, Tim, there's a couple of boys down in Cape Town where you come from that are quite talented musicians. Mm, seems like it. Yeah, Joe's pretty good. I know that. I think Bashy, uh, Peter Grant can sing a bit. I think they formed a little bit of a band there. Bashy? Uh, Peter Grant, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah Bashy. We have a singer. Bash. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Different Bash. Okay. But um, I haven't seen any of the guys' musical talents here in, in Durban. I don't know if the more the local guys oh, know about Tim, it. Tim's got like quite this, uh, this one thing that he does on tour. Uh, he cross dresses because he says he, he, says, he, says, he, says he, he misses Cape Town, then he cross dresses. Uh, as we all know, uh, the gay capital of the world. Uh, is in Cape Town, and sometimes we have to help to, uh, 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 have to help Tim to to feel at home. Uh, it's quite uncomfortable for us to see him in a dress and stuff, but uh, he'll he'll definitely when you come back to Durban, uh, you can ask him, and he'll be most appreciative to to help you and cross dress and show you how it can look like a girl as well. So are the teammates <laughs> calling you Travolta now? I, th- I think um, there's a, no, no. That's I think that's a bit ridiculous. I think it's just because we have different styles. Um, uh, busy likes his, his felt schooner and coffee pants. <laughs> I just I just find it like a more colourful style is intriguing to, to me. All right, That's here it. we go. We'll leave that one there. Uh, are there any talents? Help me out here, Freddie. JP, Freddie, mustache. Yeah, not me. I don't know. He does. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can move a little bit, <laughs> but I think the the most talented guy in the team with, with music and everything, I think, is Freddie. Oh, yeah. Very talented boy, and he can also paint. So I think he's the one that stands out to me. All right, we'll stay away from paintings for now. But uh, <laughs> the, 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 the dancing, I think, we might uh, definitely tap it's into. Guys, thank you very much <laughs> for Jenny Jones, Bismarck, JP, Tim, and Marcel. There they are. These are our sharks that are joining us here today. Thanks very much, guys, for letting us be part of your practice as well. And uh, we'll catch up with Keegan Daniel. He's having a serious conversation over there with the guys from SAB. And the White Buffalo has arrived as well. And he's brought uh, a surprise friend as well, I think, we're going to be talking about, or someone that you uh, want to tell us about. Francois Puerta is here. And look who's arrived. They're a bit late, but we will wait for them. Here they are, Johnny. Wow. The shot flashes. Stand by. Yo. Bikini Feather coming up next. If your passion is sport, become a fan on Facebook.com Facebook. forward slash Mr. Price Sport or follow us on Twitter at Mr. Price Sport. Keep up to date with everything sport. Current sports news, sporting scores, competitions and giveaways, all for our diehard sports fan. Like us on Facebook.com forward slash Mr. Price Sport and follow us on Twitter. 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 At Mr. Price Sport. 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 It's our game. Today.